Hello, this is Chiron Intuition, and I'm here to do a reading for the collective. It's not going to resonate with everyone, but if it does, take what goes, and please, leave what does not. We have the Knight of Wands here. And I didn't even mean to see it, but the Tower card is at the bottom here. I'm not sure if y'all can see that. The tower card is at the bottom here. Now this may be somebody that is creating a shocking change, like a catalyst or something like that. This is an action that somebody must take or they feel like they must take this action. Oh, wow. We have the Eight of Cups here. Somebody feels like they must leave. Somebody feels like they deserve better. Somebody feels like they got to walk away from something that they love or someone that they love. They feel like it's imperative in their life to do this. And we have the Page of Pentacles. It could be on the search of a new job or a new opportunity or a new like skill possibly hmm it's somebody that like I feel like is going to start over like or start fresh somebody's walking away to start fresh in something You have the Knight of Pentacles here. Absolutely, somebody is trying to build something. Somebody is actively trying to build something and make something of themselves here. You have the Seven of Pentacles here. This is it's like the energy, like somebody's walking away because they realize they can't do this with you. They can't finish this with you. They can't build this with you. They can't invest this in you like they've already invested enough time and energy. And it's still not like the fruits of somebody's labor has not been had. It hasn't been produced. It's not going anywhere. Somebody's given their time, their energy. They've done all they can do in a situation. That's why somebody is walking away here. Or that's why somebody feels they must walk away. Because they're looking for some type of results. And there's results. It's just not happening. Even though they love you, it's just not happening here. It's like I feel like some somebody feels like their opportunities are passing them by. You got the eight of wands here. I feel like they want to they want to start something new here because they know something is moving faster or something will move faster or they want to do this quickly or something like that. It's like they're very eager to start this or they're very eager to do this. It's like in their desire here. And you have the high priestess here. Now that's the first major arcana on the board and she's at the bottom of this big ass deck. I'm just saying, there's a lot of mystery here, but I think somebody is being pulled towards that. I think somebody feels it in their gut. They feel it in their gut that they gotta do this. They got to do this like time is running out is another thing that I feel. Is also something about wisdom and morals. Okay. There's a moral aspect to this. Somebody is guided to do this. They may not actually be doing it, but they know that this is what is right. They know that this is what they are supposed to do, or this is what they're strongly guided to do is take a chance on something.
or all of the things that I explained, maybe they know this on a soul level that something is not improving. Something's not moving forward. Somebody has been working, but like it's not getting there. Look, it's the Knight of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. It's not getting there. Eight of Cups. Somebody's walking away. They've tried everything. Knight of Wands, Knight of Pentacles. They've tried everything. They've put their energy. They put everything into this. Somebody's ready to start something new because they feel like time is running out. They have to do this quickly. Uh, we have the four of cups here. Okay. I'm about to say that somebody, I mean, somebody feels disconnected at this point. At this point, I feel like somebody's not, um, how can I say? They're not... They're not choosing their happiness. Like something doesn't make them happy anymore. And it's a sad thing that somebody has to walk away, but it's like somebody just doesn't, they just don't see the blessing in it. Look, and you got the five of cups at the bottom. Like they just don't see the blessing in it. They feel like it's something that they have to let go because it's not getting them where they're trying to go. It's just not. You got the six, I mean, I'm sorry, you have the eight of pentacles here. This is something on a professional level. Or this is somebody that put a lot of time, a lot of effort. I mean, I already said that, but it's like they're not seeing their perfection. They're not seeing the results. They're not seeing the blessing. Like it could even be something that has to do with a high level of skill, but it's like it's unseen or it's not looked at or it's not acknowledged or something like that like somebody's disconnected possibly even from a business or they're disconnected from something here you have the hangman energy i'm telling you like somebody's for real seeing it's not going forward somebody has to surrender it you have to give it up you got to put it down and you see it that's clarity right there that's also water energy and it's the second major arcana both major arcana is water energy pisces energy the moon energy cancer it's something that it has to be given up you gotta let it go it can't go with you it's a crime i almost want to say it's a spiritual crime i almost want to say that like i i don't know why that came about that's for somebody but I, I want to say that this is something that like, you know, that this is not going to move forward. You know that this can't go with you where you're going. You know why this is happening like this. And it's like, you know how you only learn this lesson when you actually go through it. But like when you are pushing, 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 at what point do you realize that's not the way you're supposed to go? A lot of people have been in that situation where it's like, oh, no, I'm going to be with this person no matter what. And then your whole fucking world starts crumbling and you're like, damn, like maybe I should let this person go. <laughs> I'm not laughing. But it be like that, you know, and that's a lesson. That's when we start really learning that, oh, no, the universe has, you know, a system of operations. Oh, no, the universe has like set kind of guidelines. You know what I'm saying? Especially, you know. When you're trying to get on your path, when you're trying to do the right thing, yeah, you got to do it the right way. Like some people get tired of being, you know, in a fucked up position. Some people do get tired and amazingly, some people get tired and stay in those situations for life. Okay. But I'm just saying you have the six of wands here. Yeah, somebody got to surrender and that's when they're going to move forward here. This is something that has to be acknowledged within, within somebody's energy. It's something energetic that you have to acknowledge. Okay, let me get something with this page of pentacles here. The star. Look at that. Somebody wants to move forward with something more promising or they want to move forward with 
it could even be like Aquarius energy. It could be something that's different. Maybe it's something that's new. Maybe somebody wants to do something that's new or something that they've always wanted to do here. Oh, did I, I just, I about to say, was that the two of wands? This is the damn three of wands. Like they really want to do this. They really want to do this. Like this is a person, whoever this is, this is a person that has a passion to accomplish something in this life. And it's like, they have this energy that continuously it moves for it moves forward even if it's moving forward in the wrong direction this person has a lot of like they have a lot of drive is what i'm getting they have a lot of drive but it's like you have to put the drive to the right places in your life you can't just put the drive anywhere because it won't lead you where you're trying to go so I do feel like there's something here that's very promising that somebody wants to do, but they have to walk away from something that's not working out for them. They just got to walk away from it. You have the wheel of fortune here. This could change somebody's whole damn life. It's a big ass decision right here. It's a big decision here. The star and the wheel of fortune. This is like taking a gamble with some type of opportunity or some type of a dream. Taking an opportunity and actually being like, oh my God, like, I feel that somebody, if they make this decision, one day they're going to be on the other side looking at the past. They're going to be like, oh my God, like, I don't even know how I did that or I don't even know, look at that. And you have the high priestess. That's what I'm saying. Somebody's realizing this. They're seeing it in their mind's eye. Like somebody is tapping in. I also heard that somebody's connecting with their feminine. And that's so funny that um, the Queen of Cups came out here on top of this Knight of Pentacles. This can also even be like a water sign here, an earth sign. Shit, the only thing we don't have out here is swords. That's the only thing we don't have out here. I mean, well, we don't have swords, but we do have air energy because we have the star here. But that's the only air energy that we have here. You have the emperor here. See, I feel like this is the relationship dynamic here. I feel like there's a there's a woman. It could be a Scorpio. It could be cancer. It could be Pisces. Like, let's just say all water signs here. But there's somebody here that's like a, they're like a boss or something. Or they have a lot of pull. They can make a lot of shit happen for somebody. And I feel like they're trying to make it happen for this Queen of Cups here. And maybe it's just not happening for this Queen of Cups. Maybe something is very unsuccessful here. It's just very unsuccessful. I don't know if this is a love relationship or just business, but I feel like I feel like there's something here going on that might not be supposed to be going on. That's what I'm feeling. And that's why I think that somebody needs to release this person. And I know that this is related to this Queen of Cups because look at what the cups came out. It's the four of cups. You got the eight of cups right here. This is this Queen of Cups. This emperor, I feel like, is the one that has to make this decision. Because I'm telling you, whoever this is, they have a lot of drive and they have the means, they have the money, they have the time, they have the energy in order to create something. But this is a situation that no matter how much they push, it's not going to happen. Okay? No matter how much they push, this is the result right here. And they, you, it's somebody that has to realize it for themselves. Also got Aries energy. Got to realize it for themselves. Look at this, to a sword. Like somebody's not accepting the truth. They're trying to not make it true, if you get what I'm saying. Like they're trying to go against their inner guidance, okay? They're trying to go against it. They don't want to let it go. Look at that. Two of Cups. That's why they don't want to let it go. I'm telling you, it's something here between these two. And I don't, I'm feeling like it's business and pleasure. That's just what I'm feeling. That's just what I'm feeling. I'm feeling like it's business and pleasure. But I'm feeling like the, the business part is lacking. 
and therefore the pleasure is lacking because this is a very business oriented person is what I feel because now you have the king of pentacles all I'm getting is like a business figure I'm getting a very like I'm getting somebody that is put in a position for a reason if this person that I'm describing is looking at this reading I'm gonna tell you right now you were not put here to lollygag you was not put in your position to fuck around you was not put in your position to abuse it you was not put in your position to to it's it even feels like they're pushing something or they're trying to push somebody that it's not for them to do that they have another mission that they're supposed to get to and that's why the shit is not working but like, i mean this if this is an emperor energy this is a person that's not going to listen to me they're going to be like, I'm going to do what the fuck I want to do, and I'm going to do it how I want to do it, and I'm going to make it happen. That's the attitude of the emperor. But if that's the case, this is even an emperor that has to learn that there is a system on earth when you're trying to do something and you're trying to do it right and you're trying to follow the good path, you need to get your mind right. It don't matter what I say. If you don't do it, it's not going to happen. Like the emperor sometimes even tries to put themselves in the place of God. And it's just like, no, that's, I mean, that just doesn't work. And, you know, a real emperor, they're humble about that. They're humble about the fact like you've been put in that position. You did not put yourself there. There's a lot of people that work hard, but they don't get where other people get all the time. God put you in that place. God chose you for that title, that spiritual title of an emperor. And if you're not using it, then it can be taken. And that's what that hangman energy is about. That's why he's hanging upside down. What? In other decks, in other decks, they call the hangman the traitor. And sometimes there's like coins falling out their pocket as they're hung upside down. And that's what it means. Like why I'm saying like somebody has to surrender this because this is like a crime. This is not something that you're supposed to be doing with your title or it's not something you're supposed to be using in that way you're not supposed to be putting your energy to this like in the manner that you're putting it to you know what i'm saying some people understand what i'm saying you have the five of swords here there may be some type like how can I say this one right here? There's some type of conflicting view. I knew it was something because the star is somebody that's different. They're very, very different. They bring something different. They're a catalyst in this earth. That's a different title given from the divine also. It's a different title. Okay. And maybe there's some type of conflicting views with that. But they know that this is going to change everything though. So it's like, I feel like somebody's going from something traditional that's not working and they're going to something that is very different that they have to take a chance on in order to see is this going to be it look at that ace of pentacles this has much potential here let me just get one card here this has great potential here look at this king of sword somebody really better try to make sense out of this they really it's it's a conflicting view it's like it's conflicting to what this king of sword has been taught or what this king of sword believes it's very conflicting here, but it's not no more conflicting than pushing, pushing, pushing and something not getting where you're trying to get it to go. That's even more conflicting. What is this at the bottom? You got the Knight of Wands. Exactly. And that's the first card that we started with was the Knight of Wands. They're realizing that there's like what they're meant to pursue is something is something sacred. It's something that they have to dig deep and understand that there is a path, there is a system, there is a plan. You know what I'm saying? It's not just, you know, frolic around and just run towards things and run aimlessly. That's not what this is. Okay, I got a confirmation on my phone. Let me get an angel message here. You have manifestation. This is somebody that wants to create something. Guardian angel. Okay. It looks like somebody is protected as long as they get on the path. 
Okay, it's like somebody is leading you. You have a guardian angel with you. Somebody is letting you know this. It's almost like you have something or some kind of it's something around somebody is another thing that I feel like maybe somebody has spirits around them or you have your ancestors, you have maybe a past on love when you have a guardian angel that's telling you go this fucking direction. Like, what are you doing? I'm telling you, but I'm going to leave it right here. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for your likes, shares, and subscribes. I really appreciate it because that is how we get the messages out in order to elevate the collective. I love you guys, and I'll be back with another reading later. Bye.